This summer, the skies have smiled upon northern Norway, bestowing it with unusually lovely weather. Sunny days are precious and should be exploited to the fullest. Hence, I packed my sack and set out to conquer the peak of Stora Oslitind, located near Salstrømen and the city of Buda. I think we have about three hours to make it to the summit. I must admit this is the absolutely most beautiful part of the hike. Uh, we are now at an elevation of 500 feet, oh, I'm sorry, 500 meters, and uh, it's, the scenery is spectacular. This is where we leave the trail and the comfort of the valley plateau. From here waits a 700 meter steep ascent on primarily loose rocks. The final leg to the summit, here marked in red, is very steep with loose rocks and debris. In my opinion, climbing safety measures are recommended. Anyway, watch the video and please make your own safety assessment.
The University of Nolan informs us that the jagged alpine landscape we see today differs greatly from our geological past. Greenland collided with Norway 400 million years ago and created mountain ranges as high as the Himalayas today. The Scandinavian peninsula was gradually scoured down to a plain surface with a hot and humid climate, much warmer than today. Roughly 60 million years ago, Greenland and Scandinavia started to rift apart and the climate became gradually colder with growing glaciers. Ice ages have dominated the northern hemisphere, especially in the last 2.7 million years. The glaciers settled in river valleys and continued to create the Norwegian landscape as we know it today, with mountains, fjords and valleys. The Osli Valley appears unique though for its indisputable beauty and easy access for hikers. I was uh, slightly dehydrated before I climbed the final stretch to the peak. The steep descent tested my stamina, not least my balance. I was fortunate enough to find a stream with clear water before reaching the valley floor. The water was reinvigorating and I could enjoy the return trip with ease and wonder, just soaking in nature's embrace. The only sounds are gurgling water and singing birds. This valley is truly a place to connect with nature and your inner self. Surrendering all your senses to the valley is almost a spiritual experience and makes me grateful for being alive. On my return through the valley, I met a handful of fellow hikers, some with sleeping bags and tents. One of them was a Swiss woman. I asked her why she would leave the fantastic Swiss Alps in favor of a remote place far, far away from home. And she replied, I have ventured many beautiful trails, but the Osli Valley was the only place where she felt true emotional peace. So there you have it. Even the Swiss think of the Osli Valley as a sanctuary for inner peace and bliss.